I am so happy that I have my Wacom Cintiq here as an engineer. It's literally a lifesaver. I have this urgent, urgent thing that I had to deliver before tomorrow. And it's late, late in the night actually now. So, But I had to go through a little... A little it's not that little. It's a school, perhaps, I don't know, 10,000 square meters or something. And then uh, to uh, make some comments regarding the suspended ceilings. And with this one, I just exported images into Microsoft Whiteboard and I went crazy with the pen and just started marking it up with this. I mean, it's it's like working with pen and paper and that is fast. I, of course, I could have put it out, printed it and used a normal pencil and, and did it the old-fashioned way. It's pretty much the same thing and then you just scan it. But here I could just, bam, get it down and I'm done. It was really quick compared to the alternatives. And I'm so happy that I got this device. I really love it. If you're an engineer, <laughs> I can't recommend it enough. I use it every single day. I'm not kidding here. Every single day. Good investment. It's like with clothes, you know? When you buy something really expensive, like perhaps not this shirt, but one of my nicer suits back there, maybe it's, let's say it costs 10,000, but you wear it many, 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 many times then it's not that expensive. You have to divide it by the times you use it. And uh, if you buy a cheap sweater, I don't know if this one's cheap or not, but uh, let's say let's say this one is cheap and costs like 500 and you wear it two times. That's 250 crowns per wear. So that's how you should think about stuff. Cost per wear or cost per, per use. So this one is uh, like, I don't know, seven, six, 7,000 Swedish crowns, six, 700 euros perhaps. But considering how much I use it, it's a no-brainer. See ya.